Hello and welcome to NextGen Software Services. My name is Mark Novak. I teach the educational room Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to noon Eastern. Today we're going to talk just a little bit about scaling your charts. When you open up your workspaces, you can't see those price bars, Fibonacci areas, trigger lines. Um, it just means that your market is trading someplace where you are not. And there's a couple ways to get it back. Um, always pay attention to the upper right hand corner of your screen. If you see an arrow, or a capital F, these are your paths back to getting to where you can see the market. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the capital F on both of my charts and that's going to make it so I can see those price bars. Um, but I'm not where I need to be just yet. The second thing that you're going to need to do is click the arrow in the upper right hand corner that will scroll you to the most current bar and you will know that it's the most current bar because price is highlighted in black. Um, once you have the markets where you can see them, there's a couple ways to kind of suit it to your needs. If you hold down the control button and left click on the horizontal axis, it's going to give you lateral movement. If you do the same on the vertical axis with that control button held down, it'll give you vertical movement. And then once again, if that market isn't trading where you can see it, a click of the arrow, a click of the F brings you right back to where you need to be. If you prefer your charts a little tighter, you can always grab that vertical axis without holding control, squeeze things together. Maybe you want to see a little more information. Same thing on the horizontal axis. I always encourage new users, go through, play with these scrolling options, become comfortable with it so that when you're simulating the market, if for some reason you do accidentally knock things out of sort, it just takes you a second to put it right back and you can focus on your rules. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the classroom.